Listen, if you're going to pull a, a rabbit out of the hat, right, you don't tell people you're going to pull one out. You just, you just show them the hat. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Now just follow me real quick. I'm going to show you how quick this is. And this is when they come in the store. Because I think you guys can get the phone part down. Do you guys ever think you can get the phone part down? Yeah, I'm working on it. What I'm afraid of is when you get them in the store, you're not going to be able to close them in the store because they're going to be like, what's my car work? And then you're going to be jumping around. Your manager's going to be like, why'd you call this guy? Tell him we're going to give him all the money. And you guys are going to get confused. Watch. You don't need a manager. You don't need an owner. I'm going to walk up to her right when I meet her and say, hey, how you doing? It's Andy. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, listen, it means everything to me that you're here. That's awesome. Where did you drive from today? Lubbock, Texas. I love it. Grateful that you're here. By the way, it's going to take me about two minutes. I'm going to get all the information I need. We're going to get you a crazy offer, okay? Follow me over here so I can get some information on the car. As I'm going, you see this office right here? What am I going to do? I'm going to turn around. I'm going to say, what can I get you to drink? Something hot or cold to drink. What would you like? Water. Okay, if she says Hello water, nothing. get her something. Hello Tell me nothing. something. Just act like this. Do you want to get them something to drink so they can stay? Yes. Okay, what if somebody says, I don't need anything to drink, I'm good. What are you going to do? Hey, I totally understand. The way things work at my house, if you come to my house, we're going to feed you, okay? So I don't care if you want well, something hot to drink, cold to drink, um, whatever. I'll get you an empty cup. I got to get you something that you good. What would you like? You got to eat yourself. Uh, something from the vending machine. Get her out something from the vending machine. <laughs> get her something to put in her hand. Follow me. Listen to me. Do you want to take control of your customers? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. How are you doing, man? What's going on? It means everything to me, that, the fact that you're here. Follow me over here. Hey, by the way, I turn around when I'm walking. What can I get you to drink? Some hot or cold drink. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. Two one zero zero two five four. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. What can I get you? Do they say something cold? Good. Come on, get them a cup of water. Have them have a seat. Get them a cup of water. Why? If you get them something to drink, they're staying. Remember, you said they're going to be in two minutes and out, right? So you're already prepping them to stay longer. Do you feel me? Get them something to drink. If they say they don't want something to drink, say, Hey, I totally understand. Look, the way things work at my house, if you come to my house. We're gonna feed you, all right? So I don't care if you just want one stuff hot to drink, cold to drink, or I'll just get you an empty cup. I gotta get you something, okay? What can I get you? And they're like, uh, just give me something cold. Okay, cool, come on. Don't get stuck on it. It's not about anything, but what am I doing? I'm taking control. You're just getting the same more yeses as well, too. Yeah, but I'm just taking control. That's all I'm doing. I'm just taking control. That's all I'm doing, okay? Now watch. That's not the sell. I just want to explain to you guys how you take control early on and get them to have a seat. Once you take them to your office, right, do this. Hey, go ahead and have a seat. Go ahead and have a seat. And I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to explain to them what I'm doing. I say, hey, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to get two seconds of information off your vehicle. I'm going to get you a crazy offer, and I'll be right back in here. There? Okay, grab a trade card. Grab her keys. Now, you just told her what you were going to do. If you told her you were going to go do it, do you have to go do it right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So many salespeople, the reason why they don't have credibility is because they run around bull and they like go say hi to everybody and they leave the customer. Dude, listen to me. This customer just drove in. Do you think on the way in, she thought, what if I got a lot for my trade, what would I do? Yeah. yeah, she's already been talking herself into buying a car on the way in. You didn't have to do anything. That's how this works. Go outside, get the information off the car. By the way, when you're out there, consciously look at the vehicle. Does this vehicle have dip spit in the floor? Are the tires bald? Does it have dents in it? Or is the dash lit up like a Christmas tree, right? Does it look like they detail it every day and take care of it? Or do they look like they're ready to trade out of it? Am I right? Just, it doesn't matter anyways, but just look at it, open your eyes. Once you're done looking at it, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go to the manager's office, okay? Where do you guys put trade keys? You guys got a pan, you got a jar, you got somewhere you put keys, right? You don't need to get your management. Let's say it's the manager's tower. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to ditch the keys. Get those keys out of your hand. If I go back in there with the keys, she's going to want them, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Yes. Get rid of the keys. Now, what do I have? I have a trade card in my hand. Watch this. I come back in. It's pretty simple. I say, okay, check this out. Remember Ian, my general manager, I was talking to you about on the phone? Yeah. Okay, he's going to go drive your vehicle. I just gave all the information, and he's going to come and going to blow you away. Hey, listen, I want to ask you a question. Everybody say I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. 
this is the clothes. Hey, I want to ask you a question. Everybody say hypothetically. Hypothetically. Okay, watch this. Hey, so I want to ask you a question. Hypothetically, let's say my general manager, Ian, comes in here, makes you a crazy offer, and you're like, you know what? Get your checkbook out, because I'm selling it. Let's say you said that to me, right? What would you drive home in? Would it be something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage? What would it be? What would it be? 23 Cadillac Escalade. Whatever the hell she says, <laughs> that means that she would do something. Does that make sense? Yeah. What do I say? Everybody watch this. Have it tattooed on your heart. Say, hey, look, I'm gonna ask you a question. Hypothetically, let's say my general manager came in here, made you a crazy offer, and you were like, you know what? Get your checkbook out, because I'm selling it. Let's say you said that, right? What would you drive home in? Would it be something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage, more warranty? What would it be? Just shut up. And they'll say, probably something with lower miles. You know what? You must have a, a magic rabbit foot, foot, foot in your pocket because it's your lucky day today. Have you ever won the lottery? No, because you just have. Man, come here, man. I got something for you. Boom! Take them outside and go sell them something. That's it. Why my manager is doing what he does, there's something that I want to show you you're going to love, okay? Now, by the way, when you say bigger, do you mean like taller or mean like bigger, like more skinny? Okay, when you say lower miles, are you talking like brand new zero miles? Or you don't mind something having a couple miles on it as long as it's got a good warranty on it, right? And it's way less than what you got now. Is that cool? Listen, what am I going to do? I'm going to sell her a car. Do you guys know how to sell? That's it. Guys, that's it. We're done. That is the end. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. I started on the phone. We don't know each other. And I called you. And I said, hey, if I could offer you more money than your car was worth, would you want to know how much that was? She said, yeah. I said, cool, let me tell you how this works. Now she's coming in. I say, let me tell you how this works. My general manager just wrote over $200,000 in this last week or today in equity checks to customers. Listen, Ian's getting so crazy. That's my GM. We're about to put him in a straight jacket. He's losing his mind. Good for you, right? Just money your way. So when can you make it in? Right now or would after work be better? Don't give this 415, 615 bull. Just say, can you make it down right now or would after work be better? They'll say, um, I don't know. Let me see when I can make it in. Hey, listen, if your house is worth 100 grand, somebody's going to give you 500 grand, right? You'd give them two minutes, right? Right? Yeah, I'll give them two minutes. Okay, cool. That's all I need. Look, I'm not asking you to make a decision. Everybody say, I'm not asking you to make a decision. I'm not, I'm not asking you to make a decision. Hey, look, I'm not asking you to make a decision. So everybody say, in the end, it's your decision. In the end, it's your decision. See that? I'm not asking you to make a decision. In the end, it's completely your decision. All I want you to do is come down. I'm going to blow your mind, and then it's completely up to you. Is that fair? Everybody say, is that fair? Is that fair? That's fair, right? Hey, I didn't say, is that a deal? I don't like that word. And I don't like to say trade. Hey, come down and we'll appraise we'll, 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 we'll your trade. What trade? I didn't know I was buying anything. Don't say trade. Don't say buy a car. Don't say any of that. Listen, if you're going to pull a, a rabbit out of the hat, right, you don't tell people you're going to pull one out. You just, you just show them the hat. That's all I'm doing. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.